Alright, hey, he's me here, and guess what? I got more freaking solar panels, alright? Luckily, this, so I was looking from so, for some smaller solar panels to fill up that area that's on the very side of the roof, okay? And so these are one of the ones I could find. I was like, they're, they're supposedly, th I haven't measured them yet, but the, the dude took the measurements before I bought them. And they're 33 by like 66 or something. So, so they're about, it's about half. It's it's half um, half the width of what's available on the roof. So I was like, oh, dude, you could totally fit two of those. You could put two of them on that one spot, okay? And then I could put one that's landscape on top of it. All right. So I think that'll work out. Um, but the thing is, we're gonna have to actually drill into the roof this time for for the third panel. All right. It's just it's too bad I couldn't fit another three up there. They don't sell really really skinny panels. Guys, <laughs> I wish they did. You know. Um, just so you could like fit them in like smaller spots and stuff, but they don't sell stuff like that. At least that, uh, not that I could, that would be easy to find is what I'm going to say. All right. Anyway, here they are. There, um, it's hard to tell, but under the, under the moving blanket, there's three SunTech solar panels. They're one that are rated at 170 Watts. The guy told, they look kind of old and beat up. They're, they're more than like 10 years old. Okay. So I'm gonna put, so these are probably like the oldest oldest panels that I have okay they're they're used and they definitely look it is what I'm gonna say what I might do is wash them before I store them I don't know when I'm gonna install them next but um, yeah anyway we'll take a closer look at them once I get them out of the my RAV4 Prime so the good thing is like they were smaller they fit better and they fit in my, in my RAV4 uh, because uh, I don't have my van anymore I can't buy really big solar panels but I don't really need any okay so I'm gonna say okay um, but yeah, uh, that's that's the dealy. So um, they're they're kind of interesting. The frames are really beefy on these, um, and it's got like a it's got a built-in rail to it too. Yeah, there's a built-in rail on the sides too. So really interesting. We'll take a closer look at them. We'll look at the specs, and then uh, I'll pack them away. And then uh, whenever I get to them, I'll get to them. Okay, type of thing. But uh, I'm not planning to install them anytime soon. Is what I'm gonna say. We'll see. Maybe you know, it, it actually it only only took me like less than a week to install the last ones, and, and it was not that that I had done that second time that I installed solar panels was you know it was a lot easier than the first time. Okay, and plus there there was kind of a lot less prep work is what I'm gonna say. All right, so yeah, let's go. Let me get these out of the the Rav4, and then uh, we'll uh, take a close look. Oh yeah, at I them. forgot to mention. So uh, I found these on Craigslist. All right, good old Craigslist. And I bought all three panels for $125. That's literally $40 a panel for 170 watt panel. That, like, you can't even buy a 100 watt panel for that much. 100 watt panel is about like $100. Okay, so so this is better than like a dollar per watt is what I'm gonna say. All right, uh, this is this is a pretty good deal. Except, yeah, they're 10 years old. Okay, the guy was selling them for 50 bucks each and I asked them I told them like hey if I buy three of them can you give me give them give it to me for 125 and and yeah so so he did it so anyway we'll take a look at them Alright, hey, he's right here. So I got these uh, panels out of the RAV4. The good thing is, you know, I hate to say it, they weigh about as much as the bigger panels, but they're just, they're smaller. <laughs> okay, I think it's because it's got this big honking frame on it. I've never, never seen solar panels like this. I think these are, I don't know. Um, these are made to like be linked together, I guess. There's some kind, there's a, there's actually a rail built into the, the frame and stuff. Actually, that's pretty nice. I might be able to do something with that. I'm not sure, but um but it's still got a pretty big beefy frame you could definitely tell that they had painted the frames all right they painted the frames black i thought they were just black anodized all right uh, but yeah you could definitely see, see that the paint was chipping off of it um, but it looks like a decent panel uh suntech i looked at the label it looks like suntech is a company in china uh, but these look like legit solar panels so um, I had them test each one before um, we put them in the sun and we tested each one for voltage and they put out about 40, 40 volts. They're rated at 36 volts, so that sounds about right. I need 120 volts, okay, to, uh, to, to 
you know, for my system, all right, for every string. I, I do 120 volts, okay? So uh, let's take a quicker look at a closer look at it, and then we'll take a look at the sticker, and then uh, I'll put them away, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at these panels. So it looks like they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these kind of modules, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's a six, six by twelve modules. All right, that's I think that's like seventy something modules i'll put the subtitle below he's me he doesn't really want to do any math right now all right so these do have what's called snail tracks or snail trails all right um see these right here i guess these happen after a while it looks kind of bad it looks like a crack on the solar panel i tried to get the ones that didn't have any but like all of them i think all of them do but the dude said they're like 10 years old so they're probably but it looks like they still they still work fine all right they all put out like 40 volts so I think it should be fine, hopefully. All right, but hey, for forty dollars each, I can't complain much. <laughs> right? Um, so I'm planning to install these over there on the left side of these panels right here. Okay, there there might be enough room to put them in, so we'll see. Um, the thing is, like, it it might be a tight fit. All right, that's the problem. What I what I probably should do is shift the solar panels over a little bit. But... I had, yeah, I know, I had the choice to shift it a little bit when I installed it, but I installed it like a, like a foot away from the edge here. I mean, I think that's okay, but, but like, we might have issues putting these panels over there. We'll see. Um, we'll have to get it up there at some point. Okay, anyway, yeah, so there's an example of the snail trails. None of my solar panels, other solar panels had that because they weren't that old, okay? You could definitely tell these have had been up there producing power for a while now, okay? He had like a whole bunch of them, probably like 20 of them also. So that must have been quite an array. They said they were upgrading their solar panels, so that's why that's why they have these. So um, his friend was upgrading solar panels. Um, this one still has the ground on it, okay? Still got the ground wire sticking out of it. Uh, the other ones don't. We could pretty, oh yeah, hmm, where am I supposed to put the ground thing on this? This, this doesn't have a lip like the other solar panel does, yeah. It's just got this really beefy frame, there, but there's no really lip. I guess we can use this lip right here or something, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really interesting frame design too. Um, there's like holes here, all right, and there's a rail right here, right along this side. It looks like, it looks like you can move these too. If you loosen these, these plates move. I don't really know how they mounted these, but I'm planning to use the same mounting system that I used before. There's also like a pass-through port right here. Okay. Oh yeah, does they have they have these clips too? So these clips go over here on the side. All right. And so I guess you could um, you could connect an MC4 off the side here. I was wondering what these clips are for. And those clips are I've never seen those before. These clips clip onto the side here. See how this one's kind of hanging off of it? I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. All right, there's a entry panel. We'll take a look at the other, the other one is flipped the other way. So anyway, it's got this whole rail running along down this, the bottom side of it. All right, and you can tell it's been painted because like there's some paint chipping off of it. I might just not paint it. If it's aluminum, I think it'll be fine. It, it, I might just chip off the rest of the paint, you know, so I don't want to say, okay. Uh, oh yeah, so dude, this one has like two of these ground thingies on it. It's interesting. Okay, and that's what the top looks like. It's pretty much the same. There's a serial number right here. Okay, let's see what this other one looks like. Same dealie. This one doesn't seem like it has any of those snail trails. Alright. Okay, let's go take a look at the back. Okay. So it says here Tyco Electronics. It says a thousand volts right here, 600 volts, 20 amps, IP65 certified. Uh, electrical symbol. <laughs> I guess you could open this with some screwdrivers. Um, okay, so these solar panels are made by SunTech. Okay, that's the exact model number and STP170 Sierra da um, Space or Dash 24 Kina. Okay. Um, rated power is 170 watts, all right, plus minus 3%. Uh, the current 
Pmax is 4.83, voltage Pmax 35.2, short circuit current is 5 amps, open circuit voltage 43.8. So the voltage is very similar to the ones that are that I have right now. Okay. Um, and the current is all the current is about half. I think the current is about eight or nine amps on my other one. So this this puts out half the current, but about the same voltage. So that that's perfect. That's what I need it for. Uh, the weight is 17 kilograms. I'll put a subtitle below what that translates to. Uh, oh, it's right here. They uh they there's another one. There's a there's an English one and there's a a, a metric one. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll, we'll go over the dimensions on this one. Uh, so that's those are. The fuse rating is 15 amps. The maximum system voltage is 600 volts, and yeah, and they're manufactured in China. Okay, so what I got, yeah, I got Chinese, Vietnamese, and Malaysian panels or something. Okay, um, I think this is the same info as on the other side here. All right, except it's in English on here. Okay, uh, this one is 38. It's 38 pounds. So literally, they do weigh about as much as the the older solar panels, but they're smaller and they make less power. Um, and then the dimensions are 32.2 by 62.6, and they're 2.2 inches thick. Um, so I guess that 0.2 inches is why they look so so fat, man. These are the frames are beefy on this thing, man. Um, and yeah, and then the rest is 600 volts, 15. Same stuff that we went over before. Okay, so those are the specs. And then these are the wires coming out of them. Still look like they're in good shape. Oh yeah, I should have made sure the pins aren't broken. Yeah, the pins are fine. Cool. Definitely, I'll put some. I'm gonna put some plastic bags over them. See, these ones had those clips. Um, they actually, they actually go right here. You can clip it right here somewhere. If I can get this through here. See that? And then it clips into there. Okay, but for now, you know what? That, that's actually a good place to put them for now. So they don't get damaged. So they're not just hanging out there. I'll just keep them there. But, uh, but, for, uh, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna cover these with plastic bags. Okay. And then when I get to them, we'll get to them. But I'm not I'm not planning to install them anytime soon. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm still kind of I'm still still trying to work out the bugs from installing the other um, panel. I'm, I'm having problems with it. Something about too high a voltage or something on the bus. So I gotta figure that out first. Okay. Anyway, there you go. That's my SunTech 170 pound, uh, 170 watt solar panels. Um, I'm thinking of using these for my third for a third string. In the near future, that should be about 500 extra watts. So that would get us definitely get us past two kilowatts. All right. Right now we're pulling a, probably a little bit more than 1.5 kilowatt. So that's what I'm gonna say. But you there, you always get less than they say you get. So. <laughs> I don't know. Plus, these are 10-year-old panels. I don't know how good. So supposedly, these solar panels are last for like two decades. So, all right. So these should still have some plenty of life left in them. All right. But hey, for forty dollars, I can't complain. Oh yeah. So I also wanted to point out that this sticker says "and delay" on it. All right. And there, if it's it says 16005 Los Gatos Boulevard, Los Gatos, California, and delay.net. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go look that up, man. But um, I guess these guys are the importers, all right? They imported these guys from China, all right? And then this is their label right here. This label is like American spec, <laughs> so this is okay. 12 gauge wire, fire class rating C. Okay, just some extra stuff I found out about these panels. So I'm just, uh, I'm getting the car compressor and blowing off all the dirt and stuff and just rinsing the panels off real quick, all right. This way out. Okay, I just washed it with some soap, soap and water, and it looks pretty good. I scrubbed it also. Yeah. The glass still feels okay. Maybe I should clay bar it, you know? <laughs> I'm wondering how to like polish, get a good polish on it. So you could definitely tell some of the, some of the cells. See, this one's like, the, like a different color. These are, are different colors. You can tell here. That looks like some kind of rust in there, you know? I wonder what that all is all about. All right, but yeah, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. Other than that, this one is like a different color. Oh, it's cracked. It looks, yeah. Hmm. I wonder how good those ones are. Oh, we'll see.